Hello friends, it's Chris here, and welcome back to The Republic of Fjordland, Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic, episode number 22 in our Let's Play series. You join me looking over the wonderful city, <laughs> the newly crowned town of Jarnagrad. The place which has been built for what, like, 12 episodes now? But now has people living in it, which is awesome. It really is awesome. I hope you're all well. I hope you've all have had a nice week out there. Everyone is staying safe. It's a bit cold here in the UK at the moment. Um, I am not particularly enjoying it. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Isn't it? Thank you everyone again for, for tuning in, watching these videos. For subscribing to the channels. For replying in the comments. I, as always, really, really do appreciate every comment and every I don't know everything every time any time that people go out their way to, to watch these videos it, it, it really does mean the world to me so thank you thank you ever so much some news before we begin our story I guess before we carry on from where we are two new items are on the workshop this week um, from yours truly you'll remember last week we uh, we, we the minced Minsk Gallery Tenements are up and running. You'll remember that I mentioned about Balfron Tower, which is not going to be built in Jarnograd just yet, maybe somewhere else. Uh, we also have, in terms of residential, this week, the UK Brutalist House, another, um, a, a, another uh, conversion from City Skylines. That I've, that I've brought over. I might build some of these. I might build a little housing estate. Based on a housing estate in London. The Ainsworth. Uh, the Alexandra and Ainsworth estate. Uh, it's been used in a load of things. This this estate. Uh, if you've ever seen the Kingsman. Films. I believe it was used in that. It's been used in music videos. I remember. Back in the 2000s. Ross Kemp. Of EastEnders an ultimate force fame, uh, did a modern retelling of A Christmas Carol and his version of Scrooge lived on that estate. That's showing my age a little bit, I guess, because, yeah, I remember it was, like, what, like the year 2000? I remember that one very, very vividly. And then finally, finally, and, and probably most importantly and probably most proud, um, we have a new monument. It took a while, took a while, and I'm surprised nowhere in this game has had one yet, uh, but I have converted a Karl Marx statue that I had built for City Skylines for this game. Let me just zoom down so you can get a quick look of him. Look at it. I re I'm so happy with how this little statue's turned out. It's a bust of bust of Karl himself. Uh, you can get that on the Steam Workshop uh, right now. Go go and go and get it if you want it in your game. Um, hopefully you do because I don't know. I, I I really like it, and I hope you do too. Um, Carl is going to go down somewhere. We're going to put we're going to put many Karl Marx statues down, but I think this one in particular is going to go. Can we can we fit you here? Oh, oh, that's weird that it's going over the path there. Um, well, I don't want to build him in dollars. Let's take that off. We'll we'll put him there. We'll put Carl there. He, he can get built uh, eventually, and we'll put a little path. Oh no, we won't. Ah, do you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No one needs to. No one needs to. Oh, yeah, we do need a path. We do. <laughs> oh, first mistake of the day. Well, if I put a path down, like like this, look. Can I? Ah, oh, do you know what? Let's just let's just get rid. This was a horrible idea to start the episode, Chris. What are you on about? We'll put we'll put Carl down somewhere, but let's put him down somewhere central. Should we put him next to? He, he, he he's kind of dwarfed by by Lenin there, and that's not cool. Where should we? Where should we, we'll put him? We will put a little a little Carl just here, look, just for now. That's nice, isn't it? And we'll get we'll get the construction lads on it. We... Oh no, I'm setting a oh, sorry. I'm just setting a timer on my phone and then just set an alarm. What an, what an idiot I am! 
Right, there we go. So we'll get that up and running. So, Charnograd is building. Uh, the Minx Gallery Tenements are nearly done. We are... There's a lot of work going on here. There's a lot of stuff going on. We've got a lot of people who can't visit churches. That's fine. I'm not bothered about that. We have some people working here. I'd like to get more people. I, th I thought more people would choose to come and work at the, the heating plant, but whatever, you know. We need crops eventually for this food factory. And yeah. Yeah, things are things are things are going swimmingly down here. They're gonna get built, they're gonna get built slowly. We've got a fire oh we we built the fire station. We got a few things Oh I can't remember if I automatically wanted this to, to be to be done, but this was if I remember correctly we were gonna make a fuel distribution centre down here. Which is cool. And we've got all this farmland to build as well. So, lots to build, lots to do, lots to get the construction firm going on. Um, we've also got all this, all this ironworks to build. A lot in the plan then, really, for, for, the, for the nation of Fjordland. Let's check on everything else up here and make sure everything is going fine. Yeah, I think, I think everything was okay. Um, I don't know why, I don't know why this hasn't been built, but we'll we'll get the we'll get the highway firm just on it very quickly. Uh, let me just check on our resources. Lots of bitumen, quite a bit of fuel, and down. If I can go down to the what is it called? Uh, do you know what I'm going to do? I am going to reduce re reduce the amount of petrol we're spending automatically because we shouldn't in theory need any but I'll keep a little bit on uh, where's my oil train it's down here picking up probably bitumen taking ages over it yep and we got flipping loads of fuel and loads of oil and not that much bitumen because I, from my understanding it doesn't make as much bitumen as it does fuel yeah look 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 so it makes yeah which is totally expected we need to, I think, get... We need to buy some lorries. We need to buy some fuel lorries because uh, this fuel refinery cannot produce any more, uh, any more fuel. So let's have a look and see what we've got. What do we want down here? Do we want nice, fast things? Now, uh, yeah, we, we bought these before. The T138s, um, which are the oldest, some of the oldest ones in here, but they carry a lot. Like, and their engines are really good as well. It's a difficult one. Like, I, I think I said this in one of the last episodes, but some of these, some of these vehicles are just that the old ones carry the most. It's like, what's the point? In get, I mean, I like the look of this thing. But it, it's that slight bit faster, but it's not as the engine power hasn't got as much oomph. These things are, I suppose, the empty weight. It's working out the weight, isn't it, as well? Like they have, they these ones have a big, a big eng engine capacity, but that doesn't mean that they're very good. They are also the most expensive, though. So I, I guess there's that. We will. What's the cheapest? You, but you're tiny and rubbish. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want, I want, I want capacity, and I also want good as well. So. I'm between these three, I guess. And and these ones, we can change the colour of them. So, I mean, that's always a positive for me. When you can change the colour of them. Oh, man, what do I want to buy? Let's buy... Well, they're own Right, so their primary job, if I'm correct, is they're going to take... We don't even need that many. We just want maybe two to take fuel... To here they may do a different job later on but we'll just we'll buy two for now so for now what should we go with we'll buy two of you that's what we'll do we'll just buy two of them oh, aren't they pretty look at them oh they're quite cute they are quite cute um i can't remember which one is fuel that one yeah so 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 i want you to go there gents and I then want you to unfill that and when that's 
at, at 90. 90. We want you to pick up the fuel there. Cool. Let's... That should do it. It should, shouldn't it? Let's press and go. Yeah, look at him. Look at him go. Wonderful. Do these need a petrol station down here to fill themselves up? That's my question. Do they need, like, a way to fill themselves? I suppose it wouldn't hurt getting a little petrol station down here for vehicles. I mean, it's a fuel refinery. Like, it makes sense, surely. To get something down here. Where could we put it? I think we... we yeah, we'll, we'll build one. We need it to have power, of, of course. Ugh, of course it needs power. I mean, we want. I want to do up all the roads down here eventually as well. So we'll put... I kind of want to make a one-way one. Actually, do you know what? We have We have loads of mods for petrol stations. Let's have a look at them. Because we've got some really big things. Like, look at the size of it. Look at the size of this. It, it's unnecessary. But I kind of like the idea of having an industrial-sized petrol station here as well, you know. But I think maybe it's a bit excessive. What about a three-person one-way thing? Yeah, we could make we could make that. We could. I don't want. Do you know what? It's not going to auto-purchase. No, no, we won't auto-purchase anything. And then, uh, on we'll keep it on dirt for now, but it doesn't have to be forever. There we go. This is going to be cool. So. You're doing your job then, eh, mate? Awesome. Go and fill this thing up. And we will... Drop that down. I, d I, I know I keep it on automatic a little bit. But... I, d I just... I want it to... I, I just want them to be able to... I don't know... Just in case they run out of fuel, I don't want them. I don't want trains to get stuck there. I'm going to assign everything else, all this new farm and everything down here, to some of our building companies. We're going to give them a new job now. We're going to get everyone in on building the farms uh, because I know they're not going to be built in time for for this season, obviously. But we want them in. I think it'd be good to have them in time for the the growing in 1964. That would be good. Oh man, oh man, it's been it's been a it's been a busy week. This it's been a real. Do you know what? It's been one of those weeks at work that have been. Oh, just work is quite difficult at the moment. Um, not in a not in a like stressful way too much, but the without going into too much detail. The, the job that I that I, that I do, um, it's just quite, I don't know, I don't know what the word is, it's quite difficult um, with the pandemic at the moment. Uh, we, we, we deal a lot with uh, older people and unfortunately a lot of that clientele, a lot of those people are no longer with us. It is quite tragic. Um, so, so I'm dealing a lot with death death cases it's quite sad um, I'm sure nowhere near as sad as uh, people who are literally on the front line or you know <laughs> people whose family are, are suffering so yeah no no doubt that it could be worse I'm gonna have to delete this by the way I'm just I'm just thinking out loud because we need a road to get in here and at the moment nothing does so this was a road thing to a silo. Why did I have two silos? I could just have the one silo, I guess. I don't know what... It was part of a plan. It was part of a big plan. Two silos to, to keep all the grain in, but it's fine. We'll, we'll do it this way. So yeah, um, in the long story short, it's quite depressing at the moment, dealing with a lot of just sad people, and that's that's... I feel for them. I absolutely feel for people. Ugh. Anyway. Anyway. The weekend is here and we are playing Workers and Resources. So that is nice. Where have you got... 
Where have my lorries gone? Oh, they've gone to fill themselves up with petrol as well. I guess. Is that what you've done? Yeah, yeah. Because that other one isn't built yet. Alright, okay. Well, Minx Gallery tenements are nearly done. Heating is on. We have not that many people in the heating thing. I don't know how. Let's, let's just... We've got a message. Oh, there's a new type of electronic train. We do need to upgrade everything to electronic at some point. Um, workers who were employed yesterday. None down here, thank goodness. But we still have a load down here. A load of you. Go uh, uh, forever unsure on why 44 workers cannot get work. Because... Guys, there is a lot to be done here. Um, what about bus station? Like, why are people... Gosh, that is a lot of people, isn't it? Why are you... Why are none of you able to get a job? Do you know, I think what will motivate you in these circumstances, comrades... Have you thought about looking at Karl Marx? Because if you haven't... I think we put a little marks here. A little marks here, look, as you're coming into work. And we'll set up Ford and Bravo and Alpha to do, to do that. And the highway firm can join in as well. So. <coughs> lots of crops. Lots of... Oh, wow. We've got a lot of... Out, we've got a lot of food going on at the moment. That's cool. That is cool. It's good to see that everything is looking tickety-boo. I just need to solve this unemployment, and I don't really know how I do it. We did have everything on fast-forward last episode. Maybe I'll do that very quickly. Yeah, I guess getting more people down here isn't a problem. Although I want... I want more people to work here. You know? Can you reach there? Just. Only just. So I'm going to bet that you... Yeah, you really can't get there. Okay. Let's let's work this out. So how do we... What road takes them there? Right. Lots of things. Go, there's so much going on here. A mine. That I, I'm building a mine here for some reason that I completely forgot. It needs a processing plan. And I, I, and I, where, where's, the, where's that going to go? You've not... I mean... I don't think you've thought any of this through, Christopher. Where's the, where the flip's your processing plan going to go, you idiot? Do I have a small... Pro no, I have a larger processing plan, don't I? Factories. Under factories? Factories. Factories. Gigantic coal processing plant. Like that is that is too big, too big for anything. We got a load of stuff. We got. Oh look, we got little. Right, I want to put these down somewhere. The little fields that grow cows. Just little cattle fields. They're awesome. Although that I feel needs space small cattle field. Look! We could put a little cattle field down here and grow some cows. Just some little cows. That'd be nice. I... I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> we want more people here. We've got no one living here. Awesome. The first of the Minsk Gallery tenements is up for business, my friends. The model made by me. It looks alright, doesn't it? A actually, right, here's a question. If you've got this far into the video and you like the look of this building, you may be aware on City Skylines, this building comes not just in this nice shade of blue, but you can also get a pure grey and a nice salmon pink red building. Would anyone want them on the workshop? Because theoretically, it should be quite easy for me just to convert the same buildings. You know? Just to put the put the 
red ones and the green ones in. I, I wouldn't add them to this. I'll make them separate downloads. No, green, grey ones, sorry. Although we could make a green one. Do you know what? We could make them with any colour you wanted. That's pretty cool. If, if you would like a, a different coloured version, let me know. It is time to go back to Chernikova and select a place that is full of people. You're full. Now, here was a suggestion. Someone in the comments. Forgive me, I've not looked at the comments to see who said what recently. Um, suggested, rather than just moving the 21-year-olds, why don't we move everyone out of a residential block and then the 21-year-olds around here will have a new place to move into? Which is a good idea. It diversifies the age of an area, so I guess that the area, like at the moment, what's the average age? 28. I, I bet over in Jarnagrad it's a little bit younger. We do, it just spreads out the ages a little bit and we're not going to be hit by, by too many death waves, I guess, in an area. My only downside to it is I kind of want to... I take my role <laughs> as, as, as head of government quite... I'm taking it seriously. And I, t I, I feel... Fjordland is not a massively authoritarian place like we are quite in, in our we, we're not we're not too repressive and I kind of feel like moving people forcing them to move out at will is is just a little bit sad and might be not making people happy by the way sorry I just want to say I really like this this prefab tower it's awesome isn't it and I, all, I love the buildings in this game. I love the hospital. Although, is this the default hospital? Is that the standard hospital? Is it? Hospital, hospital, hospital. No, that's... No, yeah. No, it is. That's the base hospital, isn't it? Yes. Have they... Have I been thick? Have I been thick? The textures don't line up, right? On the prefab here, though. They don't go round in the same line. I'm not being stupid, am I? That's... that's Like, the... the oh, oh, God. I'm not... Yeah, the line here, look. There's a line there, and then a line that... Yeah, they don't quite match up. Well, that's sad. I... That, that would bug me, that. That would bug me. Um, so, yes. Authority. Do I... Flipping it. Everyone is full... These places are just full of people. We moved people out of these towers last time. So, I, you know what? I think we're going to follow the advice of whichever comrade said it in the thing. Everyone, pick up sticks. You're moving to Jarnagrad. We're going to empty these prefabricated blocks. Hopefully, we'll see some people move in. Um, what about here? One person lives with their parents. But we'll just clear you all out. All of you, welcome to Jarnagrad. Honestly, you're going to love it here, guys. You guys are going to bloody love it in Jarnagrad. And hopefully... Oh my god, it's filled up right away! <laughs> oh man, that is how short we are for housing. Within a matter of minutes, these, these flats have been taken. That is... That is impressive. How are we doing at the university? We need to do some more research. Should we do some advanced engineering research? I do want to build a big university. And maybe that is something we could build down at Jarnagrad. Just remember, we have this whole other part of the map to exploit. And I think the five-year plan from 1965 onwards is going to be about how we're going to cultivate this entire land. Because look how much land that everywhere the light touches, Simba, is our kingdom. Even, even that shadow land over there, even the shadow land is ours. Don't even have to worry about it. Look at all the space. I know there's uranium and oil and all that stuff here, but we, this is a lot of flat land for fields and like farming on an industrial scale can go on here. I really like that this map has the mountains that kind of stop us from really doing anything. You build in the valleys. I like how. 
if I pull the map up. I like how we're going to end up like cultivating the, the, the valleys and not the mountains. It's cool. God, we've made some, some progress since, since episode number one. So, that is another thing done. How 18 people... We're getting there with people working here. We are getting here. We do have a lot of coal coming in. The trains are working. Everything's pretty good. So once these houses get built, holy cow, we need school. We've got a school. You've got a school, guy. No, that's a shopping centre. Chris, that's a shopping centre. Are you... Okay, so you are... You get food. Let's... You know what? We're going to up the food here. Because they don't need as much clothes or electronics here at all. So we're going to up the, the total amount of food storage in this shopping centre. We also do have a school. But there's not that many people here. Oh, 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 oh. Hang on. Can you... You can get to it, but it's not straightforward. Why can... Um, hmm, hmm, okay. That's weird. I don't really understand why that's the case, but... Yeah, build, build, a, build a path, please, someone. Ah, oh, I just paid for it. Okay. This is a proper school, isn't it? Like, it's just a school. I know, it, I know it makes a music noise when we click on it, so it looks like a music school, but it is proper. Like, people go to this school to learn. Like, like it functions in-game as a school, surely. Right? I just asked that because, like, if people are not able to get to school... I don't know. I'm talking nonsense. It's late. So, no one lives in this one. We're going to move some people in to the second Minsk Gallery tenement. Let's attack. What district did we build next? We've got you and you. That we got a lot here. 32 workers without jobs as well. I'm kind of tempted to... How many people do we have? Flipping X. So 20, 2,400 people who do not have... Um, <laughs> who are living with their parents. I'm going to move people from this flat then. Not load. Not everyone. Is that working? Oh, holy... What? Wait. We've not even scratched the bloody surface there. That... That's worrying. What on earth? How have we... What? Is that a glitch? No, that house is just massively oversubscribed. Holy mother. Okay. Well, that's alarming. That is really alarming. Okay. We need to... We need... Jana Grad needs housing. That is something we're going to have to do. We've got these ones been built, but I am worried about these ones, you know? Because I don't know how easy they're going to be to connect to the to the rest. Like, they can get to, they can get to the shop. No, they can't. They're struggling to get to the shop. Right. So, that is a bomb, isn't it? Because I, cause I built them to look pretty, I've actually not thought of any functional way to do this. So, let's look at the furthest one. You can get to... You can get to work at the fire station. You can get to the the polytechnic. Good. You can get to the... Kindergarten and the school. But you can't get to, like, the, the shopping centre, the cinema. Ugh. Ugh. I wonder if we build a path in the background, if that'll help. Who knows? It might. It might just help. If we can build, like, a, a little path here, look. That cuts across. I wish these buildings... I just wish they had, like, a back door as well. That's one thing that... I'm glad I put in on the Balfron Tower. Is a back, a back door. Just so people could... Live. Um... I don't know why I'm building these roads, but we'll, we'll put these paths on and hopefully 
Hopefully the, they'll get built and then people can, can walk to places. If not, we're going to have to build shops. And I don't want to build shops because... Yeah, I just don't want to do that, really. It would be... It wouldn't be... It wouldn't be what I wanted. Right. Okay. A lot of building. A lot of building and a lot of stuff. But if it comes to it, we can build another... Mi we'll build a little micro district here and we'll put shops on the outskirts here. In fact, we could do that now. We could plan that now. Let me entertain that idea. Let's put a road down here. Just... Yeah, the road can go there. We'll get that. We'll get that sorted. We'll get the, the highway and Charlie to, to jump on that job. Right. So, we can then... What can they reach? They can't. They might not be able to reach the cinema. We'll give them more stuff. Jarnagrad is, for all intents and purposes, a new and up-and-coming city. We want to attract the brightest minds here. So, let's, let's give them... Let's give them stuff. What have we got? You're a bit too you're a bit too classical. You're, you're a lovely building, Republic Theatre, but you're very classical. Do we have like a modern theatre? Oh yes we do. <laughs> you're huge and completely beat the purpose of what I'm trying to build. So we won't do that. Post office, palace of culture, cinema. Palace of culture. How big are you? You're pretty huge. You are you are massive. Aren't you? you? You are unnecessarily big. We could put right, 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 right. So we could build it just as far up to here as I can. Come on, work. Where, where is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna build it here. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna build this palace of culture. That covers the cultural aspect. They also need a pub and they also need a shop, I think. So let's let's look. Restaurants. What is it? A pub. Pubs. Yeah. What are you? I think I say this every time. What is this? What is it? I want to look at this building. That is like no restaurant or pub I've ever seen. We'll go with a restaurant. It's a popular. It's a popular choice. We'll put it next to the... Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. Where are we going to put this restaurant? Actually, maybe we'll put the shop down first. The shop can be a shop corner. And then we'll put the pub next to it. Shop. Shop. A Rinoch. Oh, I like these buildings. They're pretty, pretty intense. Maybe even better. A, a Universe Sam. Universe Sam's are pretty cool. Just on the corner. Corner Universe Sam. You need excavators. Do I not have any? We'll go with that. No, we'll do, we'll do that, gents. Don't be... Ladies and gentlemen, let's, let's just... Let's just do it properly. Okay, 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 right. Connect you up there. Connect you up there. This is going to be great. I love it. So we've got the Universe Sam, we've got the, the paths here, which we're going to commit, and then we want a a pub, a restaurant, a... I mean, I love this building, but it doesn't really fit with what I'm trying to do. Train-themed bar. It's tiny and it fits, but I, I, I want something bigger. Oh no, I've just done this. So... No, no, I haven't. I'm, li I'm completely lying. How much do you serve? 7.5, 7.5, 10. How drunk do our people need to be? Apparently, you don't need alcohol in this game. Like, you don't... Just because they haven't got booze, like, you don't actually have to give the people booze. I just wanted to satisfy their need. I thought you had to. But just like you don't need to give them religion, turns out you don't need to give them booze, apparently. And that's interesting and something I, I just haven't even considered. Let us give everything to everyone. Money is looking okay right now, people. We are doing alright. How long have we been rambling in this episode for today? 
going like 40 minutes maybe ish that's a long time and I, and I feel like this has just been a, a building episode but with with Jana Grad going live we want everything to work and these houses are gonna go live soon and they they're really nice models I will say this they are bloody gorgeous and they look you have you live on the top floor of these let's just get a pretend view from the top of the scaffolding you can see all the fields and you can see all the water it's gorgeous oh look who it is it's the big boy lorry oh, my favorite lorry cool it will be harvested soon i think which is interesting isn't it wait a second wait and what Now, a question. Did I? Are you on auto? You're on auto. Oh. Okay. Okay. So the fields that we put down that were for, for this farm down here have been picked up by this farm here. Which means we potentially have a problem in that we may not be able to to harvest all this. It's an experiment. It is certainly an experiment because we did not expect these fields to be to be ready to go. Oh, it's a problem, isn't it? It is a problem. How are our fuel trucks doing today? They're just topping it up. They're topping it up. That's good. I kind of feel like we this 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 one here is close to this petrol station we should maybe assign it to that as well but not it's all right for the time being i guess we've just spent a lot of time down here at jarnagrad at the moment which is fine ah uh, maybe i feel like if i build something to a distribution office to collect the, the stuff from here I'm, I'm, harvest isn't that far away, really, in the year. I'm going to speed th things up a little bit. It isn't that far away, and I kind of feel like we're not going to get anything built in time to collect all the stuff. So we'll just see the capacity that this farm takes for this. Because if this farm can handle everything, which I don't think it can, but it, what it does mean is we could maybe put some more fields... I don't know, we can't really fit any more fields in. Everything, ah, oh, we'll work it out. We, we always do. We always do work it out, guys. Look at all the traffic, though. This is wonderful, isn't it? Is this highway finished, by the way? I think it has. I'm gonna... I'm gonna tell this road that this is all one way, and this is all one way. And this is all one way. Does it connect up at the end? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Okay, so we can't join... Yes, you can't join the dirt tracks together, but we'll uh, we'll put a little dirt slip across. And then this can be all one way. Where did you stop? Oh, yeah. This can be all one way. Um... Yeah, the highway continues. And it looks awesome. It really does look awesome, this highway. Things are going okay. Things are going alright. We're spending money. We're gaining money. Everywhere's getting fueled. What are we spending on at the moment? So we're still spending a little bit on... Where on earth are we spending on fuel? Is there a way I can view what uses what resources? I think I can do it from here. Show me what resources we 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 buy. Okay, so you're not. I mean, you're not a chain in the cover. Huh? <laughs> Am I missing a petrol station somewhere that is not assigned? 
No, you're assigned. I must be missing something because... Am I? That was... Import fuel. Needs going up. Where? Where are we importing fuel from? Who is importing fuel? You? No, you've got fuel. Let's follow this along. There must be a tiny fuel. There's. This is like where's Wally, but for fuel. You've got fuel. Can I... let me... Um, buildings. And gas stations. Show me every gas station. Mine refueling. We know... so you... yes, you're refueled. You are refueled. You are refueled. You are refueled. You, we, we, we know you're annoying, but you are definitely also refueled. And you are. So where isn't? Where is? Where are we? Where are we importing fuel from? I don't get it. Help someone? Where could we... I don't get where we're importing fuel from. I don't... We're importing loads of fuel. Is there any way I can, like, follow... Where are we... <laughs> Help me someone, please. I don't know what, what's going on there. I get clothes, electronics, meat, cement. Cement! Although I guess we, we auto built something, didn't we, by mistake? And that goes for gravel. Crops, yeah. Fuel. Where are we import. Why are we importing fuel? Who the fuck is importing fuel? Do you fill it with. No, you don't fill it with fuel if you go there. Where's the fuel coming from? Don't get it. Something's going awry, and I don't, don't get it at all. We're producing our own fuel. How? Everywhere, like nowhere's at, the, at zero, are they? No. What is going on? Oh, some buildings are finished. Anyway. Like, that's still going up, but slowly. Where are we? Where? <laughs> I don't get it. Right, let's find. Where's the busy? Right, this is the busiest petrol station. Is it still? Does it? Right. Here's here's what I'm gonna. Right, stop. Am I being? Am I being thick? And when we buy fuel. Does it still, like, buy the fuel? Does that make sense? So, like, even though we've got loads, it's not waiting till we're down here to buy the fuel. It's buying the fuel. I don't know. Here's what I'm going to do, though. There's one way to stop us importing fuel, and that's to stop importing fuel. So that's what we're going to do. It's a risky strategy. Cotton, let's see how it plays out. We, we're making enough fuel at the moment. This isn't a, this isn't a concern. I'm not worried. He says through absolute worried teeth. I am not worried at all. But we, there's, we're making so much fuel at the moment. Like, we can't even get rid of the fuel out of the tankers. Look, there's so much fuel, we can't get rid of it. There is no point in us spending 10,000 rubles on fuel. No. Look. We, yeah, we, mm -mm, right, let's just view that now. Still, still importing the fuel, are we, guys? Still importing the fuel. 
somehow. Where? Where from? What the f- Explain that to me then, please, someone. Someone please explain. How are we importing fuel when we're, we're, we're not? Does something... Is there some industry that, that needs fuel that I'm not thinking of? Who else needs fuel? I am so confused. Everyone... Because... Oh, it don't make any sense. It don't make any sense to me. I mean, it isn't the end of the world because we are, we are fine. No one is... We're not losing money because of the fuel, but... That's annoying. Fire trucks are on the way. Good, good, good. Go put that out, my friends. I ain't got a clue anymore. I ain't got a clue. Not a clue. But we now can move some people into a new house. So we're gonna move them from Novi Cherny. Oh oh. Oh they already have moved. Did I I must have set that. I must have set that. I must have set them to, to move people automatically. That's fine. What can you is there anything you guys can't get at the moment? No. Though 27 of you do not have jobs. Well, welcome to the welcome to the world, mate. This is a horrible thing. Maybe we could fit a little house down here. As there must be something we can fit down here—a residential that doesn't need um, that doesn't need a road. There must be a little thing. No, you need a road. Come on, which ones of you don't, don't need roads? I tell you what doesn't need a road. Let me tell you what doesn't need a road. The uh, <laughs> Balfron Tower doesn't need a road, but we're not going to put Balfron in. It needs to be something small. Something like this, maybe. I want to... I like the white building, though. To match. Can I fit one, maybe several? One. Yeah, I could fit two in here. That's what we'll do then. We'll put we'll put two two little buildings down. They're slightly skew if whatever in it. Let's just build some housing. Let's get loads of people to live in Jarnagrad forever and a day. Why not? I'm really miffed about that fuel. I just I just don't understand it. Why is it like that? If anyone can help me with that, um, you would be a... If anyone can help me with that, you will be the first recipient of socialist labour for the Republic of Fjordland. There you go, so... Ooh, that sounds a treat, doesn't it? I oh, just don't get it. Do not get it one bit. I'm going to look at it again, because it just doesn't make sense to me. Fuel! Thousands! It doesn't make sense, man. It doesn't make any sense. And I wish this train would just go now. But I do want it to fill up so it makes a good sail. It's got a lot on it. I kind of feel like I want to have... I want to have now a train that picks up the fuel and a train that picks up bitumen. Two two separate trains um, because I just want them flowing faster but then more trains on this line is not what we need. <laughs> but I feel like if I could get the oil train um, split so that one's just bitumen, one's just fuel, I think that would just be a lot faster because like, we've got so much fuel. In fact, let's get, I tell you what, when this hits 1.9 mil, we're going to buy ourselves another small train with like two two fuel carriages. Two fuel carriages will do, do not a lot for this. Jeez, we're using a lot of fuel up here. It will also just get things up here faster. 
as well. Not that this is going down quickly, but the train does take its time when it's not producing bitumen. I wish we could get it to like focus just on on fuel. I don't know. Oh, so my friend would like. I don't know if you can see the little pop-up message. Would like to watch your broadcast. Well, mate, this will be on YouTube at some point. At some point tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> Right now, this is me. I I tell you one thing. I don't live stream these videos because the software that I use, the only software that I can get to work with... I, I, this message go away. Uh, the, the only software I can get to work for this is like NVIDIA's game experience. Or, oh, I can't remember what it's called. And it works great for this. But when you live stream, the audio, like me speaking, becomes so distorted it's like listening to uh one of mike Patton's experimental music it's just so distorted it's incredible um so so i don't live stream workers and resources because it doesn't make any sense why it doesn't work right workers workers so yes friend if you do watch this video and you see that message pop up that's very funny Oh man, I like your I like Yarnograd. It's looking really decent. Right, let's buy. Let's let's let us jump over here. Let's have a look in our in our diesel locomotives. What we got? We're gonna buy ourselves. We're gonna buy ourselves a green boy. And we're going to buy ourselves a three oil tankers. It's expensive, I know. We're going to set it to go. In fact, can it can it do the? Yeah, we'll do the same. We'll do the same journey, but instead of loading bitumen, you are going to just load on that. And do you know what? We're going to follow it. Let's follow the. Oh no, we're not because we're going to click off it, Chris. We'll, we'll, we will follow the train. Do you want to... Should we... We'll watch it. Let's watch it take the journey in Fast Forward from Fjordland. So, yeah. I hope you're enjoying this save. I hope that you're enjoying a lot of things. There was a new City Skylines video out this last week as well. Um, keeping with the Soviet theme. Uh, the city of Gversk is slowly, very slowly growing. I was saying in the comments of that video. City Skylines has its limitations when you're trying to be, quotes, Soviet. You, it, it's a game set up for to build capitalist cities. You have to build your commercial zones. You have to do all that stuff. This, so, 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 I use City Skylines to just make like an ideal model. It's basically a model railway, but in virtual form. This, however, I love setting up cities to try and work to set up a Soviet Republic. It's still an idealised form, isn't it? Because you're still trying to get a Soviet city to work to the, to the most idealised max, but but this, um, I don't know, I really like the idea that of creating an idealised society in Fjordland, I don't know. I'm going to rename this train. You are called um... Right, right. Well, last time, so we've got the oil train, we've got Robbie Coal Train. I'm going to call this one Dirty Oil. Dirty Oil Train. There was a wrestler around these parts called Dirty Oil. I think he was around these parts. I don't really remember much about him either, if honest. So, um, you will now only collect bitumen, mate. That's what you're going to collect. Just bitumen, and you're going to collect just fuel. And hopefully, what we will see is both trains going really fast. Yeah, look at this. Right, stop. We're going to follow you, dirty oil. Hopefully, it will just speed both oil trains up a little bit now. We've got the bitumen train. We've got the fuel train. Hopefully, it will just make things a little bit faster. I'm still loving this game. Really loving it. I I love 
watching all the vehicles move around. I love watching everything come together. I love the building process. I just love this game. I think it's a very pretty looking game. It's just, it's meant. And I do keep recommending it to people. <laughs> so, do you know what? If you're watching this, you've just clicked on this video and you've come this far and you're like, oh, maybe I'll get this game. You should just get it. It's, it's brilliant. Really is a great, great game. And also last week on the on the last video I mentioned about people who play this game seem to have a passing interest in the Soviet history, or at least the history of Soviet nations. Uh, yeah, I 100% agree. I think, having seen your comments, yes, people are very much either active members of organisations or have passing historical interests. Everyone seems to be very clued on, and that certainly is the case in uh, in all like the discords and everything interesting point on that note uh, the Karl Marx statue that you saw at the start of this thing it was released this week for workers and resources but firstly for city skylines city skylines the the comments on that workshop item whilst everyone has been really complimentary of the model um, there, there have been a few like comments on, oh, yeah, shame about, shame about the man, that type of thing. Whereas when I put it on workers and resources, it was there was there was one comment, one comment um, from a Polish gentleman who who put uh, something on that about you know disliking disliking the man, um, and then then they swiftly deleted that comment. I don't know if they thought there was going to be a pile on of them or something. Uh, because works and resources players take no prisoners um, when people come and debate communism with them. They they are an informed bunch, and they will even if even if they are not, uh, even if you are not an ardent socialist yourself, I kind of feel like people probably wouldn't be playing this game if they felt a real distaste towards. I don't know, the Soviet nations. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. That you, I would actually be very interested to talk to anyone who plays this game and, like, sits economically and, and, and morally conservative. I'd be really interested to speak to you to see if you just like it as a management game. That's, I'd find that fascinating. Right. Okay, this, this petrol station is now done. So, we can get our office of fuel to go and fill this bad boy up as well. Oh, we've been going for a long time. I think we'll be wrapping up soon. Because it's, it's another episode where, I don't know, not much has happened, maybe. But I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed talking to you, getting everything working... It's nice. It's nice to have these sessions. Especially, as I say, after the week that has been. As I say, like, it has just, just been a case of... Like, ima imagine... What, like, let's say I had, like, 20 cases. Like, only three of them were not death-related this week. <laughs> it was... Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, and yes... It isn't. I, I, this isn't me complaining, because I'm. <laughs> I feel for all the people who have been hit by. Oh, what a horrible time it all is! What a horrible time it all is. August 1963. We're beginning to harvest everything. This should be fun, which means food is starting to get produced, which is interesting. I think, ow, what we need to do is build a distribution thing somewhere, just to distribute food locally, rather than have lorries come down here from the, the, the big distribution thing, because look, they're coming all the way down here, it would be better, and rather than them coming all down the highway, to just have a local supplier, would it not? 
And I kind of want to do it as a distribution office rather than a lorry going backwards and forwards. Although we could do that. We could just have a small lorry going backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards. Just topping them up. Hmm. But then I do want them to supply the whole area. So no, we will we'll put in we'll put in for another distribution office. Um, should we make it a small one and just make it like a a small small distribution office that helps with the food. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Where could it go? <laughs> Um, I guess we'll pump it down here, but I don't really want to. But we will. <laughs> yeah, actually, you know what? We will do that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to plan a little road up here. That just, you know, just cuts off this bit here. And then it's a nice little separated border. We'll get the, the construction firm to build that. Highway agency. Get on it. Come on, come on, everyone! Join in the join in the fun. We'll get them to build that, and then because they're going to build all this this road as well. They need to build it. We just need all sorts. Come on. Just need to keep on top of it all. Ah, oh, I didn't click a sign. Oh. Things are getting built fast, though. It'll be interesting when we get all this up and running. And I think we still need power out here at the the. What are they called? Iron mines. We still need power out here. Once we do, this will be a big industry. How are we doing for work? Ten of you won't without work for there. So we're going to need a little bus station or something down here. The idea originally was to have a train station that, that dropped people off down there, but all in good time. I think... I'm going to put... Let, let me, before we finish, bus, 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 small bus platform. I wonder, I do wonder, if we could fit in a tiny bus platform here. Let me just, the furthest one away, how far, uh, it'd be touch and go whether they could reach it if I put it here. And would I be able to get a path through? Probably not. I want a little bus station though. I want a little bus station so that people can go work in the iron mines eventually. Do you know what I'm going to do as well? Very quickly, we're going to seed some bushes just here. Just along, so, just a little bit of noise po noise pollution uh, buffers. Just along the railway. So that my, my people... Ah, oh no. Yeah, just so that the people who are living in these in these flats aren't deafened by all the trains going past every now and again. Yeah, little little trees. That'll be nice. Um, bus station then. I don't know where I'm going to fit it. Flipping out. This is a uh, small platform. How many can a small platform fit? 230. Bus station can... A small bus stop can fit 200. Mm. Maybe. Maybe we could fit. It just seems a bit counterintuitive to put it up here when the work's down there. Actually, right. Have you started? You're not even built. Right, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Go away. Yes, you. We're going to build a small bus stop. Right. Nope. Right there. Yes, 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 yes. And people can come here and they can get on a bus. We'll build some little paths for them to get to the bus stops as well. No, we won't. No, we, we, we won't. We won't do that. <sighs> oh, who knows what I'm doing anymore. It's all good. It is all good. I am... Um, I, I'm happy. I'm happy. We'll get this bus station built. That'll be good because then buses can come along here, take people up to work in the processing plants, 
ore in the coal iron mines. The fields are getting fielded. The lorries are going out. We've, we're getting... It's interesting as well, though, because the fuel is getting... The, the fuel crops are getting dropped off here. And they're going straight into this, this place. We're just making lots of food right now. Here. And because we haven't got the grain train... The grain train is purely importing crops here. I don't know. It just I find it interesting that we, we're we importing crops for down here and using our own there. The idea will be that one day these fields will all serve both fuel, uh, food plate, processing plates, but it's fine for now. Right, right. That's me done. That's me done rambling. We've managed to cut by a few hundred the number of people who are living with their parents. Ah... Uh, our actual population is that's gone up since the last few. It was at thirteen thousand before, so that's good. We need we need to build more homes, more homes for the youth, and we're doing that here, and we'll do it here as well. I guess next episode we'll make a whole new little micro district here. I know that we're not following traditional Soviet planning, and it doesn't all look completely regimented but that's fjordland for you fjordland is chaos fjordland is life and i love it i love fjordland it's just a really good good fun if you've enjoyed the video please do leave a like if you haven't by all means dislike it if you have suggestions on what we need to improve put them in the comments below if you want to chat about marxism <laughs> just drop me a line as well i'm always happy to do so Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one, but until then, have a nice week, stay safe out there, and I will see you back at Jarnagrad next week. Bye-bye for now.